The force sensing uh, handle that I want to show you is the inline version. Again, this does not move. Everything from here down is just sensing a little bit of load cell deflection. So you're, this is force based into a load cell. And the load cell you, you can see is uh, nested right behind this cover here. So you can see the cover, it's covered and protected on the front side. On the back side, you can see the load cell through there. And what I'm going to do is show you how you can come down here. And I'll pick this piece up right here. And this will allow me to go hand over hand to get to a high point. So I can guide this straight down into this tube. And then go hand over hand and place this piece gently down into this square tube. And then disengage and come back out. Now, I would not be able to do that with a short handle. Uh, th that's, a, that's a benefit. Again, if you have some kind of a high-sided dunnage that you need to get into, a big basket or a precision placement like this uh, that you need to put a piece into or take a piece out of, that you need to get to that high point and a low point. They'll do that again for you coming back out. So I can go in here, engage the piece, hand over hand, bring it up. So I'm gripping low on the handle to get to a high point. Bring my G-force over, and then go hand over hand down and put my piece on the ground. And that is the benefit to using the inline force sensing handle. All right, the next uh, version of the force sensing handle I'd like to show you is the, uh, the long version of the force sensing handle, which basically is the same one that you saw last time. Before, though, it was inline, uh, configured as an inline slide handle with the G360 swivel on the top. We've now relocated that to this point right here, which is the same way things work with our slide handles right now. But instead of the slide handle, we now have this long version of the force sensing handle. Now, the reason, again, you would use this is when you have tooling involved and you need to reach high and low pick points, okay? So what, um, for this particular one, uh, what you'll be able to do is uh, move up or down as long as you put any kind of force on this handle, the side of the handle. If you put a force on this one over here or anywhere on the frame, it will not move unless, of course, you're in float mode, which if I do that, if I put it in float mode, I do get float. I can, I can float this up or down, and as long as I don't put my hand on the handle taking it back out of float mode, I could do that. But uh, this gives you a real good flexibility in the fact that you can just move up and down, and it just takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, you can climb up and down this handle pretty easily, even though this one's not actually sensing any force. So what I'll show is real quick, I'll show you how you're going to pick at a low point, I'm going to put the part up on this table, and you'll notice I'll never really have to bend over to get down to that low pick point, which is a, a big ergonomic benefit of this inline uh, force sensing handle. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here, pick it up with this basic hook tool that we've got, place it on this table. Again, I stay in an upright position, put this one down. I've got a little lower profile piece of a load here. Pick that one up, and I'll put this one down on the ground. Again, hand over hand, I can pick high, I can pick low, but stay in a good ergonomic posture and never have to bend over. Uh, one thing I will note is that this uh, force sensing uh, long slide handle will come in two standard lengths. We'll stock two standard lengths. This is a 36 inch version, and there will also be a 24 inch version uh, for you to pick. So if you can design your tooling around uh, 24 and 36 inch lengths, that's great. If you happen to need a different uh, length of a handle, uh, for whatever reason, your tooling needs it, your application needs it, then we can make custom lengths up to 36 inches, uh, but uh, they'll just be a few more weeks lead time. Finally, I'm going to introduce you to the hub-mounted version of the force sensing handle. Now, this is probably the most unique and the most versatile for tooling integration. What you're seeing here is similar to last time, uh, the, the last section where I had the, the long uh, slide handle remote mounted, uh, where you could put force on one side, what we have here is the hub design, which incorporates the top portion of the uh, our regular handle. And then down here, below here, you have a little bit of a linear bearing and a load cell. And you can attach with these uh, clamp rings here a piece of one inch uh, pipe. And you can put on here up to 25 pounds of anything you want. We have like a kind of an H frame handlebar here. And the, what that gives you is the ability to grab anywhere on this tooling frame right side, left side, top, bottom, anywhere I touch on this tooling frame here will now move the G-force up and down. Now this is not to be confused with float mode because if I touch the part itself, the tooling frame itself, that doesn't move. But because we've got a, a pretty large area of the uh, tooling, uh, the grips and the bars here, it kind of uh, feels like float mode to the operator because pretty much anywhere the operator can grab onto within his reach will move up or down. 
Now we do have this incorporated also with some of our uh, soft touch handle bases. So you've got handles here, so I can reach high and low, I can climb up and down this. Anywhere I touch on this will move up or down, either whether I use one hand or two hands. So it's very versatile that way. High-low picks for the bottom grips and the top grips. So there's a lot of versatility in the way this works. Now, much like the, the, the benefit of this, once again, is much like the other versions we talked about, getting a high and low pick point. But with this one, the ability to mount any kind of tooling uh, a handlebars framework that you want to put on the front end that you want to have command of the up-down of the load, you can get that with the, with the hub. And also, you can mount this hub wherever you want to on your tooling. So it gives you a little more versatility, a little more, a little more flexibility with uh, the tooling integration portion. Now what we've got here is just, a, again, a very simple frame. This is just out here for counterbalance. Uh, anything that you'd see in your application is m most likely going to be quite a bit more complex. We have a simple hook tool here, but I'll show you just as we did the last time. I can hook a very low profile part off the floor, stay in good ergonomic posture, never bend over, and be able to set that right onto the table. And then vice versa, I can take a similar part, pick it up off the table. I've got a high, high pick point, and then I go back down to a low pick point. I just climb up and down those handles, and I can set that down real gently. And once again, the float mode, if I pick this, this load up again, again, not to be confused with float mode, because if I take my hands off this, this sizable uh, tooling, uh, I'll, say, I'll call it the up-down command handlebar here, if I try to put any force on the tool itself, this doesn't move unless my hand is actually on the up or down control here. Okay? The only way I can get true float mode out of this is to engage float mode, and now... I can come over here and grab the part itself. So if for some reason you wanted to, to use the float mode, you could do that and just use this for up-down uh, control that way. But again, anytime you grab this, it's going to take it back out of float mode and you're going to go into your force sensing handle mode.